Ooh, thinks we're live. Oh, hi. Are we behind Ooh, the curtain? Thinks we're live. We're be behind the curtain, but we'll have to wait till they can hear us. Oh. You need to change the colour of your wall or get a tan, Brad, because it's really difficult. It looks like someone just drew a beard on the wall. Did, I did just look. It looks like I'm blending <laughs> quite well. Like I need something contrasting. Oh, you, you just need some of... sunlight on your face. Yeah, you yeah, need wow. a bit of vitamin D. See, we just discussed how camp you are. You can't use the phrase vitamin D. You can't so, use the phrase Rich, camp. You look, you look even whiter, Rich. In that T-shirt. I know. I know. I've messed all the settings up. I need to reset them. But I can't be honest. There's no point when I've got Brad and John here. It's true. Fucking broadcasting from a Commodore 64. <laughs> I'm getting a new computer. <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting a whole new setup that you're choosing. So yeah, it'll be your yeah. fault, but it's yeah. shit. You send the parameters and I will upgrade. All right. Sweet. Uh, they can hear us. So I'll, oh, I'll roll the cheesy intro. Oh, the cake marks late. <laughs> EVP is echoing. Welcome, welcome to the new home show, chapter 20. Very special episode this evening. Special guest, Mark TVP. We're going to do. You. <laughs> We're going to do one of our uh, classic deep dives. Uh, that we do when we've got a very special guest, uh, so we'll do that later. Uh, but Mark is with us for the show. Um, nice to see everyone in chat. Don't forget if you're in chat, switch it to live chat. Say mm. that every week. Mm. Otherwise, you'll miss some important messages. I'm sure. Uh, you know what people have had for the dinner, and you generally miss trolls and stuff like that. People are watching on Netflix. When we get a bit boring, the convo goes sideways on there. Yeah. That's... Um, so yeah, so TVP in the house. Uh, good to see everyone in chat. Oh, smash that like button. You know it's going to be good. So just smash it now. Don't wait. Why wait? It's good to get all your jobs out of the way. Two, two people did it. Did it when you put it up yesterday. They already <laughs> knew it was going to be great. Mm. Anyway. That was my. That, that was my two YouTube accounts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the two. The two thumbs down. I always <laughs> no, get two big, thumbs down before layer. the show's even started. Um, <laughs> Got to think who that is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yes everyone's in chat we're all here we've got john and brad as well and uh, because we've got a lot to do we've got a lot to do we've got the news vaping news first then we've got some new vaping stuff to show uh off and then we will dive deep into, <laughs> into mark's into mark. tv <laughs> we're talking about that. yeah well we'll just generally dive deep um so that's the thing so let's all we've got time for is what you're drinking, what you're vaping. John, what are you drinking, what you're vaping? Um, I'm drinking Brewdog Punk IPA and I've got, uh, what have we got a can of? Oh, I've got a can of something else in there. <laughs> so, that, um, Life and Death by Vocation. I'm on my last, down to my last three out of 24. Really are they bad, the ones but... with, oh, you don't drink out of a can, do you? No. Why? I do. I've drunk these out of a can. Are they the ones with the really sharp rim? How would you know? Don't stick your tongue in it. You, you can feel it. You're drinking it wrong, darling. On the edge of the can. Yeah, I'll try and find one now. Right here? Yeah. No. There's a certain set I've been using, and they've got a really sharp... Anyway. Is it a tin of beans? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> they are sharp now, because I've got one of them can openers that just takes the whole top off. Murder. Yeah. Murder. It is. Um, what we're vaping? I have got crack currants thanks to the wonderful mark white who sent me an emergency supply mm. in the uh, drawer 22 on top of the aegis was it aegis x by geek Bait. um and i've got a brilliant inakin proton mini with the 22 drawer on top and cactus punch in it they're both 50 milligram because i'm a badass mm. i've been vaping eight years <laughs> in a month and 20 days or you're still on 50 milligram? Yeah, if I have, yeah, I'm trying to quit me. That's insane. It's, it's 50 milligram salt. It? He's, just go, he's just going up. 60 yeah. next year. 60, yeah. Up. That's how I keep my tombra. So doing he, that. That's how he equates his coolness. That's, Mark's got a deeper voice than me, so he's he's like <laughs> cigars just to keep it there. If he doesn't, he's like, you all right, what's going on with me? <laughs> vaping, vaping, pause me. My voice right. brought my voice brought when I was seven. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been amazing. <laughs> I 
need a wee now. <laughs> Fuck Mark, hell. Can I have some milk? <laughs> Mark. Genius. Um, what are you vaping? What are you drinking? Right, I am, uh, I'll start with what I'm vaping on first. So I'm on my independent mods LiPo mod with the, um, what is this, the G-Taste there is on top. And inside there I've got some, um, the black from Colonel Shots. Just a bit. So like a, yeah, just, just a, a bit. <laughs> just like black crack, mate. It's like, um, like a black currant menthol aniseed. Uh -huh. Like uh, Zeus juice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember Zeus juice. Are they still going? Yeah. Very expensive, though. I must say. That's why I'm on the... Uh, Very like... fucking quiet as well. <laughs> it always just amazes me when they don't just, like, fucking say something. Well, no, because they're, they're like everywhere. Once they're everywhere, they, they shut up, don't they? If you go no, in any generic cool. vape shop, they'll, they'll be in there now. Oh, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, also on my other independent mods, this is the um, the Dual 21700 250C version, which I absolutely love. I love my LiPo, but I do like being able to change batteries as well. Yeah. On top of that, I've got the new Plus V2, which is amazing. By the way. Is it good? Absolutely amazing. It's stunning art, yeah. They've, they've built up such a big following now, haven't they? For, for yeah, just having it's... good tanks. It's funny because it's it's obviously it's a thirty millimeter RTA like um, pretty much all steam crew now it's the standard for them in it thirty millimeter, but it vapes like a twenty four twenty five. It's just yeah. astonishing. They're uh, at that point now where people don't even wait for the reviews, do, do they? Yeah. People are just pre ordering, buying them, you know. And what yeah, what I like so. about steam crew as well is they're not, um, and this is not a slight on the companies I'm going to mention, but they're not a geek vape, they're not a smart, they don't pump out shit after shit after shit. They, they do a lot of research and development before they bring out a new RTA. Yeah. This has been like two, two and a half years in the making, so um, yeah, very, very good. Also on my Mono SQ with the KFUN 2019 on top of there, and inside there I've got some Nasty Juice ASAP grape, which I absolutely love. And finally on the clutch with the Helvet Destiny uh, with some Just Jam Raspberry. Nice. Nice. Drink wise, I've got a few. I've got a bit of a selection tonight. This is not orange juice. As somebody said <laughs> um, this is the New England IPA, the Brew Dog versus Cloud Water. Oh. Very, very nice. I've got a couple of IPA selections as well. I've also got the Future Proof um, Brew Dog versus Modern Times. That sounds really, really Where nice. are you getting these big cans from? Or oh, direct from Brew Dog? Cool, mate. They started doing them now, three quid. Have they? I know it's, it's, it's kind of expensive, isn't it? But um, I do like a nice IPA. It's a big a can, it's fine. Yeah, the yeah, Five yeah, Points Brewing is. Company, my peer. And finally, just because I like the look of the can, the beer probably tastes like shit, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah. it recall, it's man? always the way, isn't it? If it looks, way, if it's Amazing. a good can, it's going to taste like shit. You know? Terrible beer. I'm going to try that, that one next week. Who's man. that brewery that we spoke about before? That it was put like jokers on the side of the bottle and stuff like that. Uh, Beaver Town? No. They're all right. They're not so bad. Tiny Red Bull? Tiny Rebel's good as well. No, it's a shit brewery I'm talking about. Oh, I don't know. You do. You've had them before. They're fucking awful. They spend... The nicer they come, the nicer they design, the worse the beer. Yeah, day. it's going to be shit. Yeah, Always. often time. <laughs> I think that's why Brewdog spend so much money making their new can designs shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are kind of going... Yeah, lie. yeah, it's true. Uh, Brad? Yes, darling. Drinking and vaping? Oh, right, that stuff. I am, um, as always, old faithful, the UL with the Dwarf MTL and a Mod Maker Whistletip. And in here. Did you forget? <laughs> I can't Cactus really Jackie. forget because it's the only thing I use. Cactus Jackie from Where the Fuck Are You? Just in, that code And I am. About to be drinking a my last beer that was in the fridge. Well, we are we lucky? I'm down to one tonight, but I'm warming up on water. Are we down? What are we lagging? How can we be lagging? I'm just checking. No, no, carry on. Oh, is that it? You done? That, that, that's it. You said be quick. I was quick. Uh, was that too quick for you? I could slow down if you like. No, it's all right. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Let me try some of it. I was talking about wild card, wild card, Paul uh, Iberson just said it. He's correct. Oh right, yeah, no, they, great, they, great graphics, shite. wanky beers. Hmm. Hmm. Um, thing is, I think I've got to kill Zoom to make this work. Have we got to go again? Uh, I think I think you do. Yeah, if you change them settings, kill Zoom and restart Zoom, then um, and kill OBS uh, as well. Right. 
I'm gonna have to stop stream then. Uh, oh. Yeah, I don't know if people stay on. If people, if people are gonna stay on for a minute, uh, and if you you guys leave this, and I'll send a new link. Okay, done. <laughs> stay. stay. Might let me. It might let me. Uh, put that there. Put that there. And then we might have fixed it. Oh, 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 oh. We're back. We're back. Oh, oh, oh. oh. I see people. Um, people are moving. Are we? I can't see anything. I can. Hey! Yes! Zoom. So that's there. That goes there. And then that goes there. Oh, fucking hell. What a disaster. <laughs> well done. Also, disaster. What <laughs> helps? So if that happens, you have to close. You keep the stream open, but close both OBS and Zoom. Yeah, it's um, it, it's it's a generic fault with Zoom and a Zoom update. It just captures a white screen. For some reason. Yeah, I had to switch from window capture to game capture last time they did an update, and I knew it was going to come back to bite me. Yes. Well, I'm saying anyway. I'll give you now that there should be uh, there should be sweet. sweet. Anyway, cheers, mate. Richard. Thank okay. What are you, what are you sorry, are you everyone, sorry, everyone watching. Thank you for staying with us. Uh, that was mad. Can't wait to see what that looks like in playback. It's ten minutes of dead air. Um. So, yes, I am vaping on the uh, Dovpo Bogan Odin, the big thing. Uh, this is the Zathog on top, nice big 30 miller. Uh, got, can only be breakfast in there. Uh, got, can only be breakfast in the Squipe as well, although that needs re wicking, so that's not actual on vaping. I've also got the Creek RDA, if anyone remembers that. Mizu Creek RDA on the top side. Never even heard of it. Yeah, it's really nice little RDA, but At Mizu stuff tends to not get as much attention as it should, perhaps. Um, oh, I think they had a long period where they didn't do much. I yeah, think they, that yeah. adversely affected them. But both the tripod and the Creek are both really good. They're cracking, yeah, yeah. They just uh, took too long off. And then the branding and the marketing could do with uh, a spruce up. <laughs> and the saver, which I've dug out of the old closet, still on this. I still think this. I'm surprised this isn't a more popular thing. The Chroma R. I think it's a classy little eight six fifty mm. jobby. Uh, so that as well. Drinking very special, special thing tonight. I'm going to try two gluten beers tonight on the show uh, in a feature we're calling. Gluten Arben. No, <laughs> why don't you show them what you're drinking before you come on Earth? I, I did have a little Danish Pilsner before the show. Peasant. You're a peasant, are you? Peasant. little Danish Pilsner. Uh, my mum gave me that. Uh, but I'd have bought it if she hadn't. Um, <laughs> uh, so, first one I'm going to crack open is Vagabond, which I've had before. Yeah. And it's bang average. It is bang average. Uh, not wrong with a bit of gluten, but uh, I don't know why this has happened, but I do have two gluten-free beers, so uh, I'll try them both tonight. Well, here the review. And uh, I'll let you know. I have it on good authority. The meantime one's better, but uh, only I can really state that as fact. That's true. Uh, so we'll find the out. There's also a loose term when you start setting the bar as low as Vagabond. Yeah. Yeah, that, I've probably done it the right way around, having the Vagabond. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. the first water. And then there's if you'd have gone the other way, you wouldn't have even tasted it. <laughs> That's mm. why I'm I'm doing it this way around with my beers because I know that the other one won't take well. It'll blow the other but words. Yep. Okay. John. Serious words. Hello. <laughs> What's going on in the vape world news wise? Should we go with Metro? Because it's like yesterday. Uh yeah. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, they had it in the Daily Fail as well, but I thought I'd avoid Daily Fail today. This is quite interesting because it's done this before, and I don't, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess, and then uh, we'll see. Anyway, <clears throat> the headline is: uh, Vaping damages arteries and blood vessels, just like smoking. Scientists claim. Oh, I'm gonna give you the first couple of paragraphs and wing it. There you go. 
<laughs> Vaping damages the arteries and blood vessel function much like smoking traditional cigarettes, a new study has found. The researchers from the University of Boston studied more than 400 men and women. 400 sounds like a big group. It's fucking tiny. Between 21 and 45 for the study. The group was made up of non-smokers, cigarette smokers, e-cigarette users, and people who both smoked and vaped. The study measures... The st they studied measures of blood vessel function in e-cigarette and dual users who had been using e-cigarettes for at least three months. It's a really weird um, study uh, paid for by the American Heart Association. We have um, kind of had this before, though, this accusation. We have had this before. We've had the accusation. Oddly, it came from the American Lung Association previously, who had partnered with Harvard University. This is the American Heart Association, who have um, gone with the University of Boston, but the problem is still the same thing. You will find that they are paid for by some of our favourite friends in the world. Johnson & Johnson would be my guess. And my other guess is going to be uh, GlaxoSmithKline Beecham. They're going to be my other be best guesses. And <clears throat> it's a completely void... It's a really weird study, again, where it's we have to go... this thing about everything affects your heart, isn't it? Yep, it's, it's that's like number having one. having a curry affects your heart rate, you know, seeing and, a and, nudie picture affects your heart rate. <laughs> and, we're, and we are, as we've said this before, we're really bad control subjects because I smoked for 20 years before I vaped. So how are we dismissing the, the 20 years of smoking mm. and, and saying we started with blank? You didn't. I'd already smoked for 20 years. It, it's ridiculous. Well, the whole the whole thing is just a it's re the whole thing is flawed from from start to finish. Like you Absolutely. just said, John, about uh, previous smokers, they, they only did four hundred people. Listen, living in London will give you more heart disease than. Yeah, that's uh, true as well. It's just yeah. come on, there's, there's no substance. There's no there's no. Did they even name a source? I mean, it's just yeah. They need to take a smoker from the exact same living situation as yeah. as vapor, don't they? But they never and compare against smokers anyway. Take a non-smoker, take an absolute person who's never smoked in their life That's doing exactly a cigarette study, and then, then, then my ears might prick up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you need, and we need, you need to start seeing real figures, real control groups. The, the 400 is, 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 is just a gnat's dick of a control group. We need to start talking bigger numbers. 400 divided by five different yeah. sub subsets. Yeah, it's, like, it's like dropping a grain of salt in the Atlantic. I mean, it's, it's absolutely it's nothing. So it's meaningless. Yeah. It's pointless. Mm. But mm. we also, because we've done this before as well, Mark, and we've spoken about this in the show, the problem we have as vapors is we te tear apart negative things like this, which I'm happy to, because that's I'd take anything apart like that. Um, but we, we clamp on to positive. If that was a po positive study with 400 control, we'd go, look, and you go, no, stop, stop. Yeah, and no, I totally agree. We, we should be of the same ilk if, you know, if vapors clamp onto that and uh, yeah. then no, just come on, let's let's get it into reality. It's 400 people and it's not. Mm. Um, We've done science. it. Uh, after, um, after Christmas, there was a bullshit thing about um, a hearsay study about how many colds you'd had since you started vaping. What the fuck is that? This is so stupid as shit. Yeah, how are you going to correlate that? The, same, the thing is, they don't say all the things they slag us off for in terms of, oh, we just don't have, there's not been enough time yet. Vaping's not old yeah. enough yet. That, that doesn't stop do. them from the negative, does it? Mm. They want to do a negative piece on us. They don't say, oh, well, well it's not been around long enough to do a I negative. I think that argument's going to die out in the next four to five years because yeah. vaping will probably be about 17, 18 years old. About, about yeah. Probably. Four or five years so i think that argument's going to die out pretty pretty fucking soon because when you look back to smoking and uh in the 50s and 60s when they, the doctors used to prescribe cigarettes which <laughs> even even saying it it just blows my blows my mind i think it only took about 20 stop years you coughing eventually they are yeah right. i think it only took about 20 years for doctors to do the u-turn and come about and say they well, said it stopped you smoking they were right yeah. my granddad doesn't he hasn't coughed at all since 1986 Hmm. Maybe we fucked up prescribing cigarettes. Uh, he, hasn't, he, he, um, he hasn't breathed either, but I'm telling you, he has a not very, very slow Yeah, yeah. So, so there's a, there's a limited lifespan for the argument that they've got there. Yeah, mm. uh, but, but but the very idea that they quite happily have said uh, they, they've tried to make it sound a lot by saying 400, and then they've tried and then, and they've also added to the study they've been smoking for at least three months. Yeah, you don't need <laughs> yeah. that little bit before three months. That's twelve weeks. Fuck off. That doesn't count. So yeah. he smoked sixty a day until Christmas, and then he went, "Not for me." Okay, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> what does that mean? Look, his heart is fucked. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Uh, uh, how much jogging has he done? 
<laughs> That'll do it as well. <laughs> yeah, it's just fucking ludicrous. I know yeah. I'm jogging. We all done since we've been vaping. I mean, I never jog before. Yeah. I certainly don't jog now. Yeah. Um, I, I have an allergy. I would, I get I would if my knees were up to it. Yeah, Jogging's dangerous for you. Yeah, I did. I can't remember it's which comedian. Anyway. Can't remember which it... comedian it was, but it's a famous line, isn't it? Uh, I would take up jogging, but I don't want to get fat. <laughs> <laughs> Because everywhere, everywhere you go, you're driving along, fat joggers everywhere, isn't it? That's the same thing. But if you go to Subway and you order a salad box and a Diet Coke, you're going to be a massive fat bastard. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's just yeah. everyone I've ever seen order that is massive. So I, I'm, I'm not eating that. I am not eating a salad box and Diet Coke. Right. Basically. What's next, John? Uh, oh, this is quite this is for South Africa, actually. This, the, uh, uh, this is from is the, the South... South African? No, that's the one on that one above. It's that. about level four. It is about level four. Have you got that? You do it. No, I've read it. I haven't got it. Oh, or oh, is it about me. lockdown? It is about lockdown. Yeah. yeah. Cool. This is, but but he, you can give us some context. <clears throat> so the headline is lockdown. What level four means for vaping in South Africa? This isn't um, Crystal Maze or something. This is real life level four. <laughs> Yeah, they've turned our lockdown into a game, thinking that people would uh, appreciate it more. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> We're on level Competitive, four. <laughs> competitively staying at home. That would they really need to just do that? I mean, they just press a button. Who just turns up the um, the, the, the the leader of um, South Africa and just goes, "Okay, right, I'm going to press the button. Everybody, hold off. We'll see what happens." It's the button. Level four. That's, yes, we've got home. level four. This is great. <laughs> I'm happy. Level four. Um, so the uh, headline is, uh, yeah, so we did the headline. With the hopes of smokers dashed for level four, the vaping community also asked for clarity on whether they'll be allowed to purchase their goods again. This is the lockdown in South Africa. that um do you know what the i mean i don't even know the figures in south africa at the moment for covid19 uh about four thousand cases and about 200 deaths wow well, so that's but, uh, they're really a lot lower than we are um, yeah. they locked down four weeks ago already and then alcohol sales cigarette sales um, anything you can't go shopping for for anything really. Only essential goods. Even if you go into the South African equivalent of the Sainsbury's or Tesco, they're only selling what essential items. What do they call items. that? Sainsbury's and Tesco. Uh, spa, pick and pay. Oh, okay. oh, I was being a twat. <laughs> <laughs> My own humour. Had a mate who tried to buy a broom and was told he wasn't allowed to. And he was only allowed to buy food. Uh, there's been riots, there's been uh, delivery trucks that have been hijacked, bottle stores where they've knocked holes through the brick walls to climb in to get to the booze. Like, just it's so, it, the same would have happened here if they hadn't have. Yeah. L luckily, Brit they know that we're all massive drunks and so they've let us buy alcohol. So. As long as you let us buy alcohol, we, we're, we're happy to stay at home. Yeah, Br yeah Britain went, <laughs> what? Alcohol, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, yeah the thing is, they can't, they can't tell people, especially Britons, to stay at home and shut every off license. Like, <laughs> you start, not, you, yeah. That's the endless territory of that. Nothing <laughs> funny. I just don't, whenever we've been to one of the shows, and Mark, you've been there too, when you see an American seeing British people drinking, it's amazing. Because <laughs> they kind of like, they, they're always like, yeah, we drink at home all the time. I mean, it's kind of crazy. Oh, fuck, you guys are actually insane. <laughs> yeah. It's 10 a.m. and you're drinking. Is that a whiskey and a pint? Yeah, pretty much. I'm not at work. I'm not leaving this building. I aim to nearly be dead. Yeah, next level. We're, we're next level. <laughs> when they say stuff like, yeah, but you're going to you drink yourself silly by five o'clock and then you'll be out for the rest of the night. Quick, Matt, back on it, mate. See you at eight. <laughs> yeah. Power don't, up. Don't want to risk power. sobering up and actually meeting the wife. <laughs> It's a great time. So that was uh, South Africa. 
Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I, I'm not going to do this. Like I can, you can bring it up. I can talk through it. Uh, what? I'll I'll bring it up. Bring it up, and I can go through the slate. Well, so it's worth having a turn if you want. Uh, you, if you go and find this article on slates.com, it's definitely worth finding. What it, they've done is they've correlated all the information. So, a few weeks ago, when we said the information coming out of China and Fran and um, uh, France, uh, especially, their correlated figures showed that smoking and vaping had no adverse effect on the outcome of you catching um, uh, COVID-19 or uh, uh, it being fatal to you. The, the correlation shows that there is a statistically significant um, added danger if you are a smoker or a vapor, but those, the, the, the correlation that the, the the correlation seems to be that you are an ex-smoker and you are likely, if you're in your 50s, to have damaged your body sufficiently for COVID-19 to, 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 for the effects of COVID-19 to be worse. That is what they're saying. So yeah, actually, I was, was going to say, what, what, what in, um, in an e-liquid would, would make you more prevalent to catching COVID? Nothing. Would, it be, would it be the nicotine? I know they're doing some nicotine studies on, on the COVID thing, but... The, 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 well, that that seems to be that. Well, if you look at this this article, it, it seems they're kind of half jumping the gun with that. Which, but it seems that the French stats are skewed by uh, they don't know because it's the significant statistically significant. But you're only talking above a fifty five percent to be um, significant, and they're saying that it's likely caused by something else. Another yeah. one of the things being. Uh, that if I well I've spoken about this with friends they could uh, the, 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 the reason they're studying nicotine they could actually just be wrong it could be that most people who smoke aren't overweight because nicotine is an appetite suppressant and that could be what it is it's as simple as that it could be as simple as there are more fat people who don't smoke than there are fat people who do smoke which could be it could be that it could be that the nicotine's doing something but th they don't think so nicotine's been studied so many times it doesn't have it's mainly a brain stimulus isn't it it's a brain stimulus and it, it accelerates it, it and it and it, it, it speeds up your heart as well yeah we all know it's vapors like um you know, if you go to bed and let's say you have your vape on the side and you vape and you know a couple of vapes before, and it's very difficult to to fall asleep because you just have that hit of nicotine. I always find <clears> if I have my last vape around half an hour before bedtime, I fall asleep like that. Yeah. If I have it on the side of my bed and I have a vape, then I'm like, you know, I'm tossing and turning uh, uh, asleep because it's, it literally stimulates your, your brain, doesn't it? Yeah. I've uh, never had a problem falling asleep. I did once, nearly fall asleep <laughs> while on the show while vaping. <laughs> That's true, you did. Yeah, I've I've, they, I've, I've, I've had that. I've had that. Not, why are they not doing studies on uh, fat people and obese people and things like that? Uh, the problem is, COVID. there's a there's a really good answer to that, which is so if we look at if we look at um, the peak if we look at a peak a play, sorry if we go from first um, when we talk about spread acceleration and we start at the start of the peak it's about four weeks from start to the peak, so let's say. Uh, just because you asked the question well, so let's just say you've got a BMI of 37 mm -hmm. um, so overweight is 30 35 is obese 40 is morbidly obese let's say you've got 37 the warning currently is 40 you need to be at, you need to take yourself out you're actually in the in the uh, what's it called the, high risk uh, high risk category if you're 40 plus <clears throat> but let's say you're 37 but let's say that correlates to you being six stone overweight how much chance is there of you losing six stone in four weeks zero so why should i bother telling you not unless you take my leg if you listen to the precautions you could they'd... take a leg or you, you know you could you could like contract aids or something but that's yeah. the only way you're going to lose six and stone. Is a slow puncture. but basically and because because i suppose if you take it forward there's less obese people in china greece and germany isn't there that is exactly the issue when you look at the stats as well. That's the way they stay scam. Um, but there's no point telling you that anyway. It's pointless. It's like yeah. there's lots. Of, there's a few things that. Well, they could tell that, people that they're high risk. You could definitely do that, and they have 
said, they have said that 35 is actually where you want to be looking at, not 40. The government advice is 40, but the clinical advice is 35. If mm -hmm. you've got a BMI of 35 plus, you need to you need to do the things they tell you anyway. Social distancing, make sure you're washing your hands, and da 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 da. da. But you are, if you're 35, you are more at risk than somebody who's got a BMI of was it 20, which is the where you're supposed to be. Yeah. So it, it, it's is no point telling you. There's a few things there's no point telling you where they haven't told us. They've not told us the house market's crashed because it's closed, but they don't, they're kind of like, oh, here's a surprise coming up. Um, yeah, that's been my theory anyway. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, what's the, uh, what's last the, one. Oh, yeah, last one. Quickly, last one. I'll do the last one really, really fast, which is, I really like this, the FDA have come out yeah, yesterday oh, with this. <laughs> FDA bans products that help teens hide vaping i'm going to have to read this vape because it's important to with more american teens taking up e-cigarettes there's a flood of products designed to allow them to vape without getting caught by parents or teachers and federal officials want to put a stop to it okay on monday the u.s food and drug administration announced it was sending warning letters to 10 manufacturers to stop making these products targeted at youths I'm going to name those products backpacks and sweatshirts designed with stealth pockets to hold and conceal an e-cigarette vaping products that resemble smartwatches or children's toys such as a pausable video game system or fidget spinner vaping liquids that imitate packaging for food products that often are marketed and appealed to youth such as candy or feature cartoon characters like spongebob squarepants it's actually in that it says spongebob squarepants it really made me laugh that it was missing the one thing which is the fucking jewel which is the, the biggest problem fucking watch one that looks like a game gear doesn't matter have you seen yeah. the size of a jewel's tiny ban that yeah. you can't because you don't want to because it's not yeah, really. there's so many there's so many jewel and jewel um claw Clones, like I said, yeah. clones. Uh, but you know, like the disposable pods as well, which uh, I've never agreed with. No, no. You, know, you vape it and then bin it. It's and they're yeah. like that big. They're, they're so tiny. You can hide it in a pencil case. Like uh, the vape watch. The vape watch yeah. I thought was an absolute joke when it came out. I mean, if that's not, if that's not, there was the pen as well, wasn't there? If that's not saying to children, you know, it, it is a way we, you, we we can help you to vape without getting caught. Then I don't know what is. Yeah, I, the, I that pen, that is. pen one. Where it yeah, the digi flavor pen, yeah. and it actually got, looked like a high-end pen. Yeah. We've got um, one of my friends is, a, is an A-level teacher um, in Bahrain, and they've got a problem with youth vaping over there. And he said uh, one of the biggest things with dual with teenage girls put them in their put them in their bra, and uh, that, what are you going to do about that? <laughs> <laughs> he said, "I'm not getting involved. You know, it's ridiculous." Yeah, but he he needs to just realise not to worry about it in general though that, no that's exactly what he's done we had a we had a we had a uh, like phone conference for an hour and a half um when he was trying to work out he's a chemistry teacher he was trying to work out if there was a legitimate way to work out if someone had been vaping and we went through everything for me to say to him it's literally nothing you can do about it. Like, the, it's like, it's like worrying you, whether they had a coffee when before they come in to yeah to be, here's nothing you could be morally comfortable with because he said uh, some teachers were going, you know, taking through people's bags, and and he said, that, it's "Yeah, it's crazy. ridiculous. I'm not doing that." So, so he came to the same decision. Yes, that was it. But uh, yeah, to, uh, you banned all these things. It's and not, the, not. It's not a terrible bit of legislation. It's not. It's just very fluffy and very. It's holes all the way through it, and we already don't allow packaging. It can't look like food. We've had when I've when I've signed new um, vendors, and uh, they've asked me uh, about labelling or something like that um and i've said no like, why can't they grow some balls why, why can't these people grow some bollocks and say all pod systems all stick pod systems bam. look who you are what company you are you're, they... not allowed to make, you're not allowed to make these anymore because they're too they're too small they're too easy to hide they're too um you know they're too accessible to kids so just ban them all i think it's the flip you got to take the flip side of the coin is how large is that kid's side of the argument who benefits more from the pod system on the small device, the thousand, hundreds of thousands, millions of people who are buying them at the servos and using them, we have dogs using them to get off smoking, or the how many kids smoke? Yeah, but if like, a, but whatever. if a grown it was genuinely interested, they'd still there's still plenty of things out there for yeah. them. There's these and well, there's all sorts. Yeah, there's there's, there's, there's little that. ego sticks. I just I just mean if if they're being serious and they keep bringing up this argument, which they do. It seems to be weekly or bi-weekly. You know, we yeah. see this same fucking argument. Then just ban them. Ban all stick pod systems. Mm. 
you know, <laughs> under, obviously under a certain size with whatever, but the band, no more. You can't manufacture them, you can't sell them, you can't. That's it. Easy. Yeah. It's, 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 just, it's just one of the things that comes from the article as well is the fact that um, Jewel have had to lose all their flavours, <clears throat> including their menthol, and they still have lost not one dollar yeah. from sales. Yeah. Nothing. Which is quite weird because they kind of almost claim that as a victory within it for the FDA. And you think, I don't know what you want in there. I don't know what do you want. Well, who are you trying to teach a lesson? It doesn't do anything. When you change, if you change the flavour of the most addictive substance on earth, people are going to go. Oh, all right, then fuck it. <laughs> I really like cherries. <laughs> <laughs> no one's ever done that. No, we're not injecting heroin anymore. We're sticking up our ass. I'm no, I'm not up to the old ass thing. Two days later, straight there, big old dildo couple with heroin. Didn't care. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Absolutely stupid. It's you never, you never see two guys with a joint going off. Oh, tastes amazing. <laughs> Tastes amazing. <laughs> John, that's the best analogy I've ever heard. It is, it it is ludicrous. Argument. We do it in the fucking UK all the time. You know when they say, so they say we're really going to try and put off smokers this time. <laughs> we're putting up a, the pack, the, the average pack of twenty cigarettes. We're going to put it up seventy-five p. No one has ever gone to their heroin dealer and he's gone. Now, nah, mate, you know the twelve-pound baggie. It's twelve seventy-five. He's not gone. Not for me. <laughs> I'm going home. <laughs> what? what are you doing? I'm gonna go and suck another dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's never happened. It's the stupidest argument. Well, they go. Uh, you, we're not actually. We're, we're using plain packaging for the heroin now. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. We're not doing funny faces on them anymore. What happened to Ziploc? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? And we've all just accepted it. it's fine. Oh, you're gonna put it behind a shutter? No, I definitely don't want them now. What the <laughs> yeah. fuck? None of it has ever worked, and we've done it. We've been in two years behind it every single time, and then gone. Oh, and then the British government's gone. Let's try this thing that didn't fucking work somewhere else. Really? Do you not think it's a massive waste of time? But it's like when you well, well, use the in hideous it. pictures on cigarettes. Oh. Like, we know Garen Comparin, who's got the worst one. Like, That's exactly why you get, why I said, like, like, Top Trumps. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. It was like, it was like, it was like uh, cigarette Top Trumps, who's got yeah. the worst yeah. one. <laughs> it just makes them look like they've done something, even though they knew it was a fuck up before they started. I remember a friend of mine who, during that, you know, they first they put in the actual, just the black, just the large lettering. Every time, if you went out for a pack, of, if you went out for a smoke with him down the pub, if you turn his pack of cigarettes over, I, seriously, he did this like it made any difference. He was put an S on the on, on the second line. So if you turned his pack over, it just said smoking skills. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> it's just such a thing. I don't put kills on my packet. Skills. <laughs> That's quite good. Wow. Demented, but fine. Right, we right. need to move on to new stuff, uh, which brings me on to... Uh, I just thought of this, genius. Have, Mark, have you had anything new in this week or last two weeks? Only the, only the plus three, too. Uh, ah. Do you know what? It's been dead rich. It has, hasn't it? But I've had emails and stuff. It's just nothing actually arrives. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? I get the odd I've, shipping I've number. I've had emails off, off people wanting to... Wanted me to advertise like the nail salons and fucking, uh, <laughs> you know, tattoos and piercings and you know, can you can you advertise this and we'll pay two hundred dollars? Yeah, I, you get some weird stuff through all the time. But I've had Even people I've saying about that stuff, but nothing person. actually turns up. It's weird. Asking me if I want to advertise beard oil, I'm like, the fuck? How desperate are you? It's just a good way of getting you to look at their beard oil, I reckon. Yeah. You'd just email ten thousand people saying you're interested in this. This, this is this is my lockdown beard. Man. I just can't be asked. I haven't trimmed it in. My moustache is like gone, gone down to my bottom teeth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's um, not even lockdown. You're going to work. <laughs> no, I'm off. I'm on, uh, I'm on annual leave now. I've been off for oh. two weeks. Oh, oh nice. okay. Fair enough. Uh, right, okay. We have got some We have got some new stuff in the picture form. Uh, this is what's really caught people's eye this week in terms of new gear. This is... The RPM 160. Have you guys seen this? A dual battery pod mod. Yeah, it's probably just released one as well, I think it is. Yeah. 160 watts pod system. Dual well, listen, we knew this was coming. Yeah. Like, let's not sit here and like, you know, all side. We knew this was, we knew this was going to come when, when pod systems were getting as big as they were with the, uh, you know, the RPM 40s and stuff like that. We knew... Ultimately, eventually, there was going to be a dual battery pod. Can you even call it a pod? Uh, no, you can't. Um, I, I mean, but no. 
but I, yeah, so like you say, this was coming, with, wasn't it? This sorry, was coming. Sorry, this was coming. in the artery one. Um, not here, it's probably the artery one. Dual 18650. And with the 510 adapter, it holds a 30 millimeter RTA. Yeah. Yeah. Call it a pod. Is it a pod, pod, pod mod? I mean, uh, yeah, this, I mean, this is, this, it does, it reminds me a bit of the Twisted. Do you remember when Twisted 420 did that collaboration? And it was like an RDTA tank mod. Yeah. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. It kind of reminds me of that. It had a massive tank of juice on top, but ultimately it was just a sub tank, you know. And then there was the rebuildable for it and stuff. But it's just a big mod with a tank on top. Why do we need? Why do we need this? We don't need what. There's no. There's no market for this. No, I guess. If you're gonna, if you like, right. So let's say the 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 going for you know the more experienced vapors and stuff like that. Well, the more experienced vapors, the the the, the, the us. I already own multiple mods, multiple dual 18650 mods. We don't need this. We don't want this. This is no. Yeah. Well, that's Smock's answer to it. it and like you say, uh, incredible timing. Um, Artery did one as well. Uh, and it basically looks the same, doesn't it? Except it's got. It there's, there's, a, there's more adapters for it. But I said, I, th I can't remember. I think I was, I was talking to you about I said, oh, I'll just wait for the three battery version. Yeah. A 250 watt pod mod. Uh, what can you do? I don't know. It's, I guess it's just going to become a thing now. So all big mods come with a tank you can stick on, or a 510, and you just choose what you it's want. Not, it's not going to be. It's not going to be. It's not pocket friendly. It's everything a pod was originally designed not to be. It's how are they going to TPD work around that? Going to do like the penguin where you have to pull out the. Oh, when you have to, yeah, when it takes you about three hours to pull that <laughs> fucking rub. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. So that's that's a thing. So get ready for that. Um, if uh, if you weren't already, I've actually got one coming from Artery as well. So oh, uh, nice, be, uh, nice, interesting. Uh, the next one is Wismec. I think we showed a picture of this as a render a couple of weeks ago, um, and it was put next to a skyscraper or something. It was a bit bizarre, uh, but it's just like a long. Again, it's kind of a pod mod, but it's kind of in tube form. Uh, this is the Wismec R80. Uh, we've got two pics of this. Uh, what they've announced now, as well as showing actual real pictures of it, I think it's out there now. I think some reviewers have got it. Um, they've shown it is coming with a 510 adapter. So you've got a, a really long tube mod, or you've got a, a long tube pod mod. Uh, from them, yeah, I quite like the look of that. It's not mind, the looks yeah. all right. It's, yeah, up to the tank, that. it's quite nice. Hmm. But then, if you put in the five ten adapter on and a tank, you've got quite a baton of a thing. Oh, good grief! Yeah, yeah. And, a, and a strange looking step in too. Yeah, yeah, because it's so it's, wide naturally to fit the tank. Otherwise, yeah, the tank is it, would is, have it, um, is it triangular as well? Like, yeah, it's, it's got. It's oval, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, there's another picture I don't have, and it's got. Uh, yeah, it's kind it of a big rounded, like a rounded triangle. Yeah, it's a rounded triangle basically. Weird. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So the side that they've laid it on in this picture is the flat side, if you like. Right. Uh, yes. Uh, so I like the look of it as a pod, but not, not, not. I don't, I'm not going to be putting a tank on that. No, no. I mean, we've got way cuter, trimmer little things for that. Aren't we? But uh, that's a thing. What are the ones? Oh, this, this uh, one I saw on Instagram. Vaping Vic put this on Instagram. This is brand new from Aspire. Uh, this is the Aspire D Germ. Oh, and, shit, well, <laughs> ah, well, hang on, <laughs> well done. hang on. It's a, it's a, it's a sanitizer. It's a UV sanitizer for drip tips. So what? Yeah, it's the Aspire D Germ, and it's a UV drip tip sanitizer. Does it make any difference? You it's put your, your drip, drip tip. tip. You put your drip tip in your drip tip sanitizer, and it sanitizes yeah. your drip tip. What a waste of oh, time! Come on. Who else come are you on. giving it to? <laughs> That's just a total waste of money. Are well, we, I have a this, tap as well. This is not. This is this a joke? Is this for real? It's real. It uh, vaping with Vic Mullen has got one in. <laughs> in his possession. He, that's his picture. It's, it's not a fancy yeah, market. I want to wash his tips. Mm. Why? I don't even understand it's pointless. Once you've used it, I mean, you're not lending it out, are you? I mean, hey, right it, there, Joe, have a go on my drip tip. Cheers, right? But I mean, if you're, the kind of cret if you're the kind of cretin that never cleans the drip tip, then fair enough. I can understand something. But you can't like catch anything from yourself. 
for, I don't me, get for it. myself no right i'm lost that's what it's for i just find the whole thing fucking ridiculous and i bet that's about 25 dumps as well isn't it? yeah something like that it's about gonna be about that i mean do you find i have to admit i can't think current, of a use for it <laughs> with the current thing that's going on if you've got if i've been in the supermarket if i've say i've been in the supermarket and I'm kind of walking around because I kind of think to myself logically, just think you might as well think I'm contaminated right now. I won't vape until I've washed until I've washed my hands. I'm not going to touch it. It's, it's fucking stupid. It's only going to be twenty minutes or something. I'm going to get and I bet that's I bet all that is is a mini ultra, ultrasonic. That's it's not. It's an ultraviolet. It's all, yeah, it's, it's just an ultraviolet. I don't even know how, how long you'd have to keep it in there. But I mean, what's, what's wrong it, with it, a sp- it, like just a sponge and water? Yeah, it works. Just yeah, give as, it a nice well, little. Yeah, yeah. Well, or yeah, if you've got kids, if you've got if you've got babies, uh, when the missus is doing the bottles, just whack a few drip tips in there. Yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah. Or, or I mean, if you're that bothered, you've already got a proper cleaner, aren't you? One of the big. Listen, I've got a sink, hot water. <laughs> yeah, that's as far as I go as well. needed. No. So that is that is showing off up north. Do you hear that hot water in the sink? <laughs> well, it, I've got a sink. He didn't mean indoors. Sink and hot water. Ooh, he didn't mean it indoors. He meant end at dry. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, even have to go out well. So that's the thing. That's that. that's the thing from Aspire. Get ready for that. That'll be a cracking review. Um, How could you get more than twenty seconds out of that? I, I can't don't... wait for them to send you that. Vic. That's going to be. Uh... <laughs> Oh dear. So that's a thing, but I don't know. I mean, yeah. What more can you say? Um, the next one is the Cthulhu. Now, I don't think this mod has a name, but they've started teaser pictures of it. Um, they're saying it's simple and elegant. It's um, an 18650 TC mod. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you lost me at 18650. 18650, little, elegant, cute little thing. Um, it looks quite high endy looking. It's got that high endy style. It looks, it looks about five foot up the tree. I don't hate that. It's kind of like um, almost like a Zen. Do you remember oh, the Zen no. Zen no, DNA? No, no. Zen yeah, DNA? I do. But does it, 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 the difference between this and that? Does this work? I think it probably will work to an extent. Uh, they've got good. a bad record with. Why are they not showing the front of it? The the, the buttons look gold. Yeah, tease, they're, they're, they're sure teasing. The they're teasing us. It doesn't even sound like it's got a name yet. So whose is this? Who's this by? Cthulhu. Cthulhu yeah. That Cthulhu. looks like the shape of that looks exactly like the old Cool Fire. Yes, yes, the, yes. Went the Cool Fire Four. Yes. Yeah, uh, but it's like it, it, it kind of look looks alright. Kind of looks alright. They're obviously very influenced by the high end because they've done an eighteen three fifty Mac, haven't they? And they've done these mouth to lung tanks that they're doing and. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Got a hell of a drip tip on it. <laughs> oh, that's a shocker, that, isn't it? It, it? Honestly, it looks like they had a whole load of spare 18650 battery tubes lying I'm with, I'm with, I'm with Brad. I'm with Brad. Out <laughs> to do with I, think, I think any company now that releases uh, just, just simply an 18650 mod is behind the times. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, not like, it's not like we're short of them. No, it's true. Uh, yeah, I don't mind. No, you guys might disagree not, because, like, you just a battery tube with a slab of plastic hot glued on the side. Yeah, I know a lot of you guys vape at like you know 12, 15 watts, which I I do on this. I vape for I've got it on twenty watts, but I just think in this day and age we should probably be looking at minimum. It depends 20. in in the shot, like in our, in my shop, you do want you want at least like a mod, and if something looks like that, that will do, that will only go up to like. Well, you know, we would comfortably sit at 15 watts all day. That's yeah. perfect for some perfect. people yeah. who just want to step up, but they don't want to do 300 watts, which is most people. No. Yeah, but is it, is it going to be beginning a level price? That, that's the thing. Yeah, agree. That's the difference is where it's going to land. Uh, if, you're looking at, if you're looking at 50 quid, then a lot of beginners are going to like, be like, no, I'm not paying that. Yeah. So that is there, and they, apparently they were asked on that Instagram picture, uh, "What board is it?" And they've said it's their own board. I don't know if they've done that before, so that might be exciting. They've never done that before. No, so that's the thing. Um, but yeah, I thought it was it was quite nice looking. I'm not sure what the point is in this day and age, but uh, we'll see the how thing, it goes. I think it's quite nice when, when this when they say it's their own board. What they really mean is they've gone to another company and purchased <laughs> five thousand boards off them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Are we quite? Someone in chat just said, Richard, that me and Brad are quite low. There you go. You're all really loud now. 
Oh, okay, right. Well, so that's that fixed. Um, last yeah, one, last definitely. one. There you are, David. Done. Uh, although Brad may just have to generally talk louder. Um, what talk? Oh, last one, last one, last one. We haven't shown this before, uh, so we're just going to show it, because we said in this quieter time we'll show everything. Uh, OBS Cube Pod. Uh, there's a lot of fans of the Cube series in general. We do need to show the Exocet 2, which I keep, I'll get some pictures for next week yeah, for the Hellfire Elsa uh, So the Cube pod, that is that. If you're a big fan of OBS, they do some nice stuff. Um, if you're a big fan of that and you like your pods, then check that out. Very last, and now I've never been able to pronounce this, um, but this is the 60 by N Quadro. N Quadro. N Quadro. Anyway, it's this. Um, it's this. This is they've done a new set of their uh, sixty, their sixty mod. The, I think it's a DNA sixty mod. Uh, they've done some more of these in different colours now and all that sort of stuff. Um, so uh, that is a thing. So check out their Instagram, check out their website if you want to jump on board. Uh, they previously only did like fancy patterned ones and black ones. Now they're doing loads of colours and they were popular. Yeah, amongst our sort of group and things like that. So there we it's go. It's just pods. No, pods in it. Single pods. 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 AIOs. Someone just said in chat, it's pods. 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 But it's literally what's coming. That's you've got AIOs. What's coming out? It literally, uh, I would say eighty percent of the market is AIOs right now. I We've got the bored. brilliant new tank coming out from Mark and Sasa, and you know. But we, when we've got it, when we've got it around and stuff, we will have it. And we'll bang it I'm out. not gonna lie. I was in the show last week, and when when uh, s someone mentioned the price, it's going to be around what they said it was going to be. I think I'm going to purchase one because um, I'm proper into Motor Long at the moment. I think yeah, that's yeah, yeah. right to my street. Yeah, yeah. It's um yeah. They they've worked hard on the price by the sounds of it, so that's quite yeah. good. And we will we'll keep people posted on that. But it's still in development. Is it going to be? It, so my next question is: Is is it going to be like readily available, or is it? It's not a list. It's, it's not. Be... It's no list. It's no pre-orders. It's going to be when they're there. Go. Yeah. So mm. you just need to be on that special little page for that tank, and then as soon as the link goes up, bang, it's free for all. Yeah, I'm excited for that. I am. Yeah, it does. Um, Looks good. Uh, right. That is that. That is uh, the actual new stuff. So I need to load up my flipping Facebook now, don't I? You know what you should call that segment? <laughs> New pod. pods, new pods, pods and stir. <laughs> pods, pod life. Pods, 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 pods. pods, pods. pods. Uh, but it's all AIOs. I mean, last week, how many billet box alikes did we show? Like three? Yeah, there were three different ones. Uh, so, I'm now going to our Facebook group. If you're not a member of our Facebook group, check it out. The new Ohm show on Facebook. Uh, but we did a thread uh, for Mark, questions for Mark. And uh, we're going to, should we swap and change from the top or? Well, are we? <laughs> depends how well we edit these. There's some absolutely <laughs> abysmal questions. Yeah. Uh, um... All back, guys. All back. <laughs> no, I know, but some of them are just not like nonsense. Yeah. I, yeah. Uh, well, I'll start with one, John. Then you just do one. Yeah. Go. Go. go yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Um, right. I think go? this is a really good question, actually, from Bob Clark. So I'm going to pick. This yeah, one that's out. exactly where I was landed. Yeah. So it's all right. We're we're singing off the same hymn sheet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right, Mark. Uh, Bob Clark asks, if you didn't vape, is there anything you're passionate enough about to review on YouTube or make YouTube videos for? Well, I used to, I used to say no, Bob. Um, absolutely used to say no because, uh, listen, I've got a first for fucking radio and a voice for newspaper, me. I am literally the last person anyone wants to say on YouTube. I just, I just kind of found my niche with uh, vaping because at the time no one was like me. Um, so that was why I started vaping. But as for anything else, I think, my, like my main passion outside vaping, it's going to sound uh, gay, but uh, I love the <laughs> if it, Titanic. If it's, if it's men, <laughs> I love the Titanic. Yeah, I'm I'm obsessed with the Titanic. I'm you know I'm building a model now. I've built models before. I think something like that would probably be my niche. Um, model building with ships and things like that. I just absolutely love it, and I'm obsessed. I remember seeing you say that before. It's have like, you bought, have you bought a bit? A what? Have you got a bit of the Titanic? I haven't got a bit of the science on it. Do you know I've looked oh, in it? Buy a piece of the Titanic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super expensive, bro. Like. There's that guy remaking it as well, isn't there? Well, no, there's only one in China, and it's not going to be... It's going to be static. It's a static ship, but they're, um, they're doing a, a, a replica of it. It's going to be a restaurant, hotel type thing. Um, right. There was talk of a man doing a Titanic 2, an Australian geezer, but that was never... never but even the Chinese are too scared to sail on the Titanic. Do you... Do you buy into like the conspiracy stuff? No, no. 
happened. Because no. it, it wasn't the wasn't the talk of like someone actually making a TV show where they did make it or buying into the conspiracy or something like that. I heard someone was making. The, 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 the main know... conspiracy is that the ships were switched, so they switched Olympic and Titanic because. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Now yeah, I remember. Yeah. I was trying to remember Olympic, what it was. Olympic got uh, damaged, like yeah, yeah. really damaged when that when that uh, tugboat hit it. Yeah. Smashed all the hull in. Um, there was some theories. The there's theories of um, whose was it? Was it White Star? It was White Star Line. Yeah. There's theories yeah, of yeah. the Titanic on fire before it even set off. Uh, the hull was on fire like a blazing fire. They couldn't put out. It, there's lots of conspiracies, but I don't buy into any of them. Are you right there? Welcome to the Titanic. Don't worry about that. That is just uh, that's that's all decoration. The fire there. Yeah. Right here we go. Of the but, but, old. But that, that is genuinely probably what um, would be my passion. And maybe I'll do a YouTube. But I don't know. Probably... Do you get? I kind of. I can get a little bit involved with stuff, and I come. I, my wife's the person who stops me doing it. Like, <laughs> like collecting shit. <laughs> no, they've got an original post for Back to the Future. I have to have it. Why? I don't know. Well, I'm not going to let you put it up. I know, but I need it. Yeah, if I was a little bit richer and if I, like, I were a postman, I probably would have a piece of the Titanic and shit everywhere. <laughs> but I, I'm postman. I like it. <laughs> um, gonna go to Todd Bokes who is Bogs? I don't think I've ever said it out loud, who's in New Zealand, who is a postman in New Zealand. And he asks, why, why the vaping postman? Why did you go with it as, your, as the tag? Right, well, originally, um, I, think, I think Rich knows this, I was three-minute juice reviews. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Because I used to watch, right, I used to watch a lot of YouTube uh, reviewers and especially back then most of them were Jewish reviews and you'd see like um you know like I had, uh, a guy on for 20 minutes doing yeah. one juice and it's like I can't I, can't I had a guy through. who worked for me who did 30 seconds yeah juice I can't sit through this man I can't sit through 20 minutes of one juice review this is irritating I totally agree you're waffling on way too much so I thought fuck man I can I could probably condense this into like three and that was the idea and and the idea at the time was I had a feud with like Kelvin Guy and um End of the show. I wanted, to, <laughs> I wanted, I wanted to, I wanted to put him in his place and beat him on YouTube, and that that was the original plan. So I set up three minute juice reviews, um, but I, for some reason I, I couldn't keep a juice review under three minutes. It was all about like three minutes ten, <laughs> three minutes twelve, um, and then after about four months, I decided to change to the vaping postman because I started getting into hardware. I started buying quite a lot of hardware. I, I wanted to venture into doing hardware reviews. So that's why I changed to the Vaping Postman. I didn't just want to be known for juice reviews and like the three-minute juice review tag. Quite often you were uh, so actually in why. your shirt, Just, you just well. because I'm a postman. Sorry, Rich. Quite often you were actually in your shirt with the early videos as well, weren't you? I was, yeah, I was, and I got told off. Um, a lot of people, as you know, don't like me, and they used to complain to my employer um, trying to get me off YouTube. You know, I'd be wearing a shirt and I'd get uh, reprimanded for that, so I'd, I'd soon stop that. Uh, we've lost some brilliant reviewers through that kind of thing. Yeah. We've got, oh yeah, um, Shoza, who was brilliant and really, really doing well. And um, he's a high school teacher, and he got reported to the Parent Teacher Association. Yeah, and they told him choose YouTube or being a teacher. So mm. what? He wasn't swearing. He wasn't doing anything. Yeah, yeah well, they, they told me, because I used to swear, I, I've always sworn a lot. I've got, you uh, can't. I've got really? <laughs> we don't. We never do. It's no, we so they, they told me, look, um, we don't mind you doing this. We don't mind your extracurricular activities, but you cannot be wearing uh, Royal Mail attire while you're doing it. Uh, when you first did that name, I thought it was genius, because you were already getting talked about as the vaping person, mm. because you because you sometimes had that on. I've like, heard it somewhere. Reviewer? Yeah, yeah oh, I've heard it postman. somewhere, yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. that vaping postman, that postman vapor or something, and I thought, fuck, I'll go with that. And then, yeah. obviously, when the when the Facebook regulations and everything hit, um, you know, hitting groups with, with the word vaping and stuff like that, I decided way before that to just uh, rebrand to TVP. Yeah. Even on, even on YouTube, because YouTube were clamping down and stuff on vapor, so I, I was probably ahead of the curve. I just changed to TVP, and that was it. Yeah. I, well, I can't talk. I accidentally used the same name as someone was already doing it. So, <laughs> <laughs> fucked. yeah. But can I just say you? Oh, <laughs> <much better. laughs> I was just fucked before I even started. Um, so yeah, that's a good one. Oh, is it my turn? It's my turn. Yes, you. Oh, yes, yes. Right. Okay. Cool. Right oh, choice. quality question, Dale Walker. Have you ever stolen anyone's vape mail? 
as a person, a postman, obviously as a person, not just has. in general. Do you know what? Wait, obviously, you on her, I'd never say. I'd never say. Well, <laughs> no, no, I haven't. But you do get some parcels where you're like, oh, from E-Sig 1 or from Vaping 101, you're like, fucking hell. And you square, you give it a good squeeze. You're like, I wonder what it's for. <laughs> and it's, it's, it, it is weird. And you, you can always tell when there's e-liquid in there because you can feel it. But no, I've never been tempted to steal anyone's vape mail because no, I, I know how precious vape yeah, mail is. I always think about that with people. like the beer deliveries. They make it yeah. so obvious that there's beer in it. Yeah. And it's like, don't the, do that. But these people wait with bated breath like for the vape mail. They're like up at the crack of dawn like my vape mail's coming today. So no, I would never steal anyone's vape mail because I know how precious it is. I've, I've got, got it. There is a, for you. This isn't this isn't you, but uh, I do loathe when I'm at the post office and somebody says, say, um, I just, this day I've got to send this and it's obvious it's a card and they say um, is there any money in there and you go why and they go well it has to go special delivery so I've got to pay four more pounds so you don't steal it <laughs> sorry there's only your employees are going to touch it from here to my mum so you know what old, you know what old people do and it's the worst giveaway right you can always tell when there's money in the card they'll sell the tape and put it right on card only <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's true <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's like, oh, man, there's, 20, there's 20 dumps in there. You, no, I would never. But I've always said to people... Have you ever delivered a Just Ed Nick package? I have delivered Just Ed Nick, yeah. Um, oh. I always imagine if you go to a... Um, I imagine if you go to an MOT centre and they said, yeah, just MOT, and you go, yes, please, mate. And they go, yeah, it's 50, 50 quid. And you go, okay, excellent. And they go, 70 quid if you don't want to crash it. Was it? Well, we get Pete. He's got that funny thing with his eye and a twitch. Or we give it to um, Bob. He's very good with driving. What the <laughs> fuck are we doing? What the fuck am I paying you not to steal my shit? This is mental. Do you know what though? Most the majority of the thieves in Royal Mail and I, I, you know, I'm in the sorting saying this are in the mail centre. So when everyone goes to goes to the main mail centre, I even know how they do it because I remember it back in the day when 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 there was a problem when. Uh, Back in the late nineties and early two thousands, when the uh, when Northern Ireland was kicking off again, and um, they were obviously there they were there were letter bombs, and they were going through the sorting office, and they they'd ping, and but they the, the I know in the sorting office they realised that they would ping on the foil strip in a in a note inside something, and so it never got there because it was like we've worked out a way to tell you there's money in there, we're boom, and they're like it's never getting yeah there. we 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 get oh. so many cards we get so many cards that are. Uh, you can they clearly have been sliced open yeah and it's just a card in and it's flapping open and it's like it's, oh, it's like so obvious you stole the money out of there and yeah now i have to put this in a damage bag and deliver it <laughs> yeah I mean, it's and it's always a... the last point of delivery it's always the postman's nicked me money they do it in italy it's really quite funny because i've had just had nick deliveries and somebody sent me a picture and they haven't taken all of the post they've just taken out what they fancied and then sealed it back up again which i quite like as a review they've gone i love that one that one and that one strawberry no thank you very much and they put it back in the post the carriage yeah, it's like if it's 22 quid in a card you're like oh, i'll tell the 20 but i'll leave <laughs> can't bother with change <laughs> yeah there you go your nan hates you she's got two quid. <laughs> little shit right uh, it's your turn well to answer the question no I've never stolen anyone's vert mail ever they must I would have if I did it um, I don't think he's going to know the answer to that one I've just got <laughs> oh here we go from Craig Harrison it just God. says clones smiley face <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about this for the show we stopped yeah yeah. You know, clones are clones are a funny subject, especially on like this show and the people in chat. I am I'm anti clone and I'm pro clone, and let me explain what I mean by that. So I'm pro clone, whereas if somebody clones, you know, a, a ninety hundred pound tank, I don't have an issue with that. I really don't have an issue with that because <laughs> because the people that buy the clone, let's say the clone is twenty pound or fifteen pound, the people that buy the clone are never going to affect the profits or the pocket of the people that made the original because they can't afford it. They just simply cannot afford it. Um, when they clone a $20, $25 Van de Vare patty or, you know, we're talking about it, they have a real issue with that, a real serious issue with that because it's cheap enough to start with. You know, it's a 20 25 pound tank. I don't see any reason to be cloning anything like that. I still think there's a market for clones. High-end clones. Uh, you think it, I think it doesn't serve a purpose because you, you've got you you haven't got the thing 
you, you haven't got what you paid. You haven't got, even if so, so it was a 90, I mean, 90 pounds to, to be a tosser about it. Uh, you'd be at the top of the middle for me. And if you were like mm. 100, if you were talking about 120, 130 pounds, mm. atomizer, and, and they were knocking the clone out for 40 quid, A, you're getting ripped off yeah. more than you would if you bought it off the manufacturer because the, 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 the you haven't even got anywhere near the tooling. So if you, so there's that. And not only that, you've paid 40 quid, so you've paid a third of what the retail value, but you've no, you've got, there's no comparison with it because you haven't got the other so it doesn't make any odds i don't yeah there's no comparison but it's another way i like to look at it is a try before you buy so something like yeah. the let's say a care fund any care fund mm -hmm. um quite quite I, that's a, it's a hard yeah there's a hard one to argue because the first the three the, say the 3.1 or the light it was cloned so much they mm. almost developed it so yes. the first ones were shit and then it got, and then the clone got the better. The Care 5 as well, which was cloned uh, like to fucking death. Yeah. yeah. And that, that thing had more working parts than uh, I think I've ever seen on any atomizer. And I think it's more of a try before you buy. So if somebody buys, you know, a Care for for £15 and thinks, you know, let's say they vape it for six weeks and think, fuck, this, this is like, this is like my. I don't think I, they're I, ever going to buy it. Yeah, then they might think, I have. you know, this is my ultimate. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out and buy an authentic. Now I'm gonna go out and spend the money on authentic, um, even though I'm poor. And yeah. I, you know, I'm gonna say, I, I just think there's an argument for clones. There's an argument against clones. I'm pro clone. I'm anti clone. And I think I've explained why. If you're gonna clone something that's twenty five dollars, you're a douchebag, and you don't deserve any place in the industry. If you're gonna clone something that's, you know, hundred plus, then absolutely, I see a market for it. Yeah. Oh, also, I think. It's load as is there any actual evidence that it has ever hurt the pocket mm. of the original mm. manufacturer? There must be so There's many products be. That, that... I know it's raised the profile. I can, of the I can, spe I can speak to that because I was cloned, right? Vivic mods were cloned within six weeks of them coming out, and stores that were talking to me to buy then switched and were buying the clone. Because it was cheaper and they they could they had a better margin on it. They they so just they got like that hive small, one. Was it small one manufacturers, was... aren't they? Was that like that? I hive think one, I think bro? to some extent it's going to affect the. Um... If you're very small, it's definitely going to. Affect if you're very small, it's going to absolutely affect you. But if you're someone yeah. like Swarm Esto, you're not going to notice anything because all it does is like Richard said, raise your profile up massively, mm. and all these people that are buying clones, you uh, know. But okay, so say that say. Just for argument's sake, say Stackquam came out with a dripper tomorrow. Stack Stackquam don't need the promotion. No. Say. So I don't see the argument. So saying, oh, it gets them out there. They don't need to be out there. They're, they're already out there. I, I think that argument... No, but has it hurt themselves. their sales? Even whether they need the profile or not, has it hurt their sales? It could do, but it's different. And then we end up in the thing where... It's hypothetical, so, isn't it? It's very hard to... I always, I, repeat, I always think the people buying clones, the people buying these clones of the care funds of the... Of yeah, they're never going to buy the original. ...are never in a million years going to drop the money on an authentic... But it doesn't matter because they haven't got it. But how, they about, got the... how about this? How about a clone of an Atty, you, even with all the tea in China, you mm -hmm. could not get your hands on? What if someone makes a 200 units but you still haven't got it. of a thing? They did, that, they did that with the Haku. The Haku was like ridiculously impossible to get hold of. And they cloned it. SXK cloned it. And they sell him, They sold them by the fucking hundreds of thousands. Where's yeah. that? I don't see where the bonus is. I don't know what I'm supposed to say. So if you... So if I... So, so I, there was I, only ever going to be 200 of something. They all yeah. sold. But it, you saw it and you thought, this is literally well, exactly shit. what I... Yeah, well, that's, uh, no, that's I, I agree with John where he said it's tough shit. shit. It is, it is tough shit. shit though, yeah. If you, you if you them. really like if you like watches, so I quite I, I quite like watches. Um, um I bought and uh, yeah, but that's totally different. You still haven't got the watch. If I've got a Brightling and it's not the it's not the bright it's not a Brightling really, you haven't got one. Yeah, it's yeah. just a status thing. Yeah, but no, that's you haven't, pure, you haven't that's got pure, status. You haven't got pure, anything. Uh, no, but that's it's fake that's state, purely but... collection. And it's fake status. No, no, it's of not. course it's no, fake no. status. And and a lot of these people do try and pass them off like really. Yeah, that's I've never problem. seen that. I've, I've, I've got an authentic hacker, and I'm like, you have. How many? That's... I don't know how many times when I worked in it when I when I uh, helped run SV. The amount of times I got sent pictures: is this real? Is this not real? Is this real? Somebody had got 
they, say say a haku or whatever, and they were and the guy selling it to him was going, ah, I need the money, so I'll, I'll let it go for fifty quid, and then I'd, you end up. It was almost like a fucking part time job where you'd have to work out the fuck up. And you go, no, there's no way that mark can be in that place, because you have to work out how it was manufactured and go. I think, no, the, I think the real, the biggest problem is what Brad said. It's the B to B. It's the business to business. It's that an actual shop wanted multiple of Brad's, and mm. and then they suddenly didn't. Yes, how and that's, the, that's the, the problem. It doesn't affect the. It doesn't affect I'll, your I'll, direct. I'll tell you where I am now. Where I stand right now with clones is, uh, it's nothing like it was three or four years ago because. Um, the stuff coming out of China now is such fucking quality. I mean, they don't they don't need to do it. That's they don't the... need to do it. It's the, the the quality that's coming out of China for the money you pay is just ridiculous at the moment. Like everything's spotless, everything's machined fucking beautiful. Well, the majority is machined beautifully. So there can be a there can be a there can be a two. There can be the high end, and there can be the, the you know the Chinese. They they can. Why can't the Chinese look at something like? Let's say look at something like the Carefund and manufacture their own version of that. Don't clone it. Manufacture your own version. Maybe improve something upon the Carefund 2019, make it top fill. I don't know. Um, so I think that's where we are now in 2020. Yeah. There's an argument which I was waiting yeah. for, actually. It's, 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 coming it's a permanent chat. eternal argument, isn't it? Who's yeah, it is. Like, Somebody, oh, Millerman Chris has just said in chat, uh, uh, just said that I watched has precision machining and parts for performance. A clone is unlikely to be at the same standard. A cloned RTA can be exactly duplicated. How the fuck would you know? Because you wouldn't own the fucking RTA. It's oh, you no know. fucking reason. But I, I've been in the fortunate position where I've owned I've owned uh, authentic. But, but we've phones. all I'm, agreed I'm, that you most people do not have. Most people both. haven't got Scooby Doo. They'll, they'll look at the clone and go, "This is fucking amazing." So where, to say whereas, it's exact is. Whereas you look at the authentic this. and go, "This is like fucking night and day." But, yes. Most people haven't got a clue. I've been in the lucky um, position that I've, I've actually owned both and looked at both if, together and gone like and actually gone. Well, if, if you know, well, this, this, if you know what you're bad. doing, there are clones that are better than the authentics. Yeah, if, you, if, you're, if you're really into it, you're down that road. But they've then. they've developed it exactly the same way. Shortly yeah, after I anybody. got cloned, I set up a page on YouTube. Where all I did was I went around and collected clones from people, and I smashed them with hammers. And it was doing really well, but I eventually the only reason I stopped is it was costing me too much money because they kept breaking my fucking hammers. Because <laughs> I, I used to when I used to buy and sell watches, because you buy them in job lots. When I got fake, I always broke it with a hammer because there's no way of getting it back into the system without someone doing the same thing. You know, yeah. flipping it. So if I sold it as not what it is, somebody, you know, just said this isn't real, this is a replica and this is what this is, someone would always it would always get back into the, it back into the market. So I always just smashed it and, and threw it in the bit. Um and uh over the years I've had some really funny counterfeits given to me as watches. People have, oh. have, have come to me and said Rolex is one of my favourite ones. My dad gave me a Brightling once that was the serial number was zero zero one, and I was laughing so much when he gave it to me. Uh, it, it weighed nothing, and I said, "Are you being serious?" And he said, y "Yeah, well, how much do you reckon it's worth?" And I flipped it over and saw the serial number and just laughed my tits off. But it wasn't only <laughs> it, it wasn't he hadn't only got this this aviator. It was it was it was the first one ever made. <laughs> And I'd like yeah, to I think I think we could we could all we could have this clone argument forever. I yeah, yeah, am, I'm respectful of people's opinions. That that's yeah. kind of the difference. Well, we knew me. we could have the we can have the conversation though. Mark, yeah, everybody sense. knows my stance on on it, but I'm I'm absolutely respectful of your opinion. I'm respectful of the people who who you know the, the modders, the manufacturers. I'm I'm respectful of everybody, uh, regardless of my own personal opinion. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, have you got uh, an inflatable hot tub? Yeah, that's who was that from? That was Mark White. Mark White. No, I live in a flat. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Uh, that should that should stop you. I don't <laughs> that see would why be that's you. <laughs> uh, we have. Do we have any questions in chat? I did put it out there. Um, when is the atomizer V two happening? Build off happening. Sorry, atomizer oh. build off happening. Oh, you should tell you what you need to do at this point. Plug your Saturday show. Yes, our Saturday show. It's only Bantam. Um, it's the worst show on YouTube, the worst show on a weekend. <laughs> it's absolutely terrible. Um, much worse than this show, I've got to say. <laughs> this, is, this, it's... this is like the Queen, where like fucking um, 
Bad waitress. I, I, I watch it on Sunday mornings. It's proper quality hangover. <laughs> <laughs> no, we do, we do have fun. We have fun. We're, we're, we're a bit different to you guys. We swear a lot. We drink a lot. We cuss a lot. It's, you fucking cunts. Why? No need. you good to have you on one that one Saturday, John. Yeah, 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 I'll be on it. Um, yes, so definitely, yeah, definitely check that out. Obviously, you know where to find TVP's channel. But yeah. it's the main, the thing is, knowing it's on Saturday nights, it's 9 p.m., isn't it? 9 p.m., we do it bi weekly, so we do it uh, fortnightly uh, normally. But um, I think we're going to be on again this Saturday. Uh, Mark, you have got IK says, Can you thank your army? We do, we had an army. <laughs> yeah, you've got your own army. Congratulations. <laughs> but I tell you what, your own army are giving your dogs abuse in chat all night. Oh, David, I've, I've, listen, I'm used to it. About, I'm there must be about 30 it. messages going, can you wick? <laughs> they're all this from, the they're worst, all from your I have to admit, we've had the worst <laughs> behaved chat ever. <laughs> Mr. Mark Todlington's been on it like, they've been, we've been kicking people out of chat all fucking ears. <laughs> <laughs> And they're not even people who watch the show. They're just cunts. You just know, I, I actually think John, they've been they've been quite well behaved. Yeah, not too. You bad. haven't seen really them. <laughs> you watched down the side. That's why I lost it at the beginning of the new stuff. I, I didn't know what we were talking about because I was watching Jack and his shit. And then uh, and 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 our fantastic moderators get rid of them. Uh, Uncle G the says TVP top enough. top worst five reviewers. Uh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> don't, 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 Richard Vick, that was that is yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm up there. <laughs> Richard will just cut the feed. What's what? It's your. This is a question for me. Uh, what's your current? <laughs> no shit, dickhead. No, because I could have gone. Uh, this is a question from Wayne. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> but this is a question for me. And as as someone's been reviewing a long time, like yourself, what's your current feeling towards reviewing and stuff? Obviously, you're not putting all that out. I'm not putting. All I can't that out. be. I, I, do you know what? I can't be bothered. I don't think. Um... I don't think reviews are as necessary as they used to be. I just think people are watching them less and less and less. I can't be asked. It's just, you know, I've been in locked. I've been in. I've been on annual leave now for two weeks. I, I've ample opp- All I have to do is come and turn the camera on. I just mm. can't be bothered. Yeah, I'm not be bothered. I have no motivation to do it. Um, I just think I don't know. I just think the review scene is is dead. Like no one gives a shit anymore. I think the the products don't help. No. Yeah, it's hard to get motivated for another pod. With pods. Yeah, it's hard to get motivated for an AIO or a pod, uh, unless it's got something interesting, unique, different about it. And but I'm, I'm every email I get, can, can you do this pod? I'm like, no, no, mm. D- don't send it to me. Don't email me again. I'm not interested. Stick it. Yeah, I think. But, but the, I, I agree. There's so little new stuff coming out that gets you excited and gets you wanna turn the camera on and, and be excited for our products i've just had that so it's so rare it works both ways though because like i got that um ipv auto squonker with mm. the light version of the ee board thing mm-hmm. in and i was really excited by that not necessarily that specific device but just the idea of someone trying something like that and i was really into it but no one else gave a shit watching it they were like i'll oh, just squonk i just press the bottle what, what? Fuck off! It's like you know, and there were all these reasons that people didn't like it and weren't interested. But at least, but for me, it was really exciting to actually try something that was different. But yeah, it was something a little bit new, in it. Something a little bit new, and it, something and it a little worked. bit different. It actually worked as well. I was absolutely convinced it wouldn't work, and it totally worked. I need to get myself on it. It worked. I picked the. I think I picked. I picked the IPV up uh, Auto Squonker at Expo last year, mm. and uh, it was terrible. It came with that little tiny little um, throwaway yeah. RDA thing, and it, it was all dry hit all. Yeah, uh, the second you get a dry hit, it's a fail, instant fail. That's its whole job, isn't it? Yeah, but, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I thought it was a thing. So yeah, so you're so, you kind of know what to do though. If there's nothing thing. to review, you just kick off loads of drama about nothing. <laughs> that's what you do. <laughs> that yeah. uh, that that doesn't that doesn't help review a motivation either. When someone can make a video <laughs> going, you know, oh, look at my, look at my new handbag. <laughs> And get no, I know, I know what John, I know what John's alluding to. Of course, I've been involved in my in, in my um, <laughs> first, share, first share of drama in the year. Really of like of course, I have. Awesome. I'm quite expo. I'm quite expo. Can me? I speak my mind. I am what I am. I don't. I don't make no apologies for that. And I've, I've been involved in some drama with people because I don't suffer fools. I don't suffer fools, and I don't appreciate piss takers and frauds. And that's just the way I am. It's just yeah. it's the way I've been brought up. 
I like it when they bring it. My favourite thing ever is, and I'm sort of just happened to come up in conversation the other day, is when you're out, you know, and you go to the, because it's been written, my, one of my, the biggest things this year, it's really starting to kick in, is that I haven't seen my mates. So, mm. you know, we, we would have done that. It's Expo Weekend now. Yeah, we have done jam. literally be it. Yeah. We'd be going yeah. tonight. And we'd be on to Expo, yeah. and then we'd be looking forward to whatever the next show was. And so, there's all this, <clears throat> I totally get it's all a bit dead but it's also quite sad i don't get to see my friends and in the uh i like walking around the shows but in the evenings it's always been the same rule and i'm really shitty about it and i'm only going to hang out with my mates in the evening i have no fucking interest in anything else mm -hmm. um uh -huh. and this came up in the week because somebody one of the oddest things i get um I, you definitely had this mark is when i when somebody comes up to you i've had people come up to me at a show because of something i've said on a live and they think that I'm not going to say it there. Oh, absolutely. Because I'm there. And I think, I don't know how, I've been doing this for so fucking long. I don't know how you've missed it. <laughs> I'm exactly the same. I am a total twat all the time. So when you yeah. come up and front me out, it's the stupidest thing. I really don't care. Please fuck off. And I do miss that this year. <laughs> yeah, it's, anyway, I've, had, I've had it so many times. Like, like someone will come up to me and I'll go like, just saw something simple as, Sup fuck face. <laughs> so, what, what's up, cunt? Like, and, and they'll go. I can't, I can't believe you. <laughs> have you have you watched me for the last two years? Like this, this is just me. This is how I am. Yeah, but that's that must that must be quite nice though. Like, but you know, you know, people do get to know what you like and what you're. About. Yeah, there's no airs and graces. There's no there's no fakeness. There's no falseness. I just am what I am. I'm, I think I'm quite approachable as well, where people can definitely come up and, and yeah, say hello and have a, have a drink. Always, oh, we don't mind that. It's like the that funny too, when someone says it's August and someone says, do you, do you remember what you said to me in January? No. I remember last year having a good chat with John, actually, outside the reviews area, and we'd never spoke before. And we we had a that. good chat for about 15 minutes. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I've always been, I always talk to anybody. You know, when people, whenever anybody comes up, I'm always happy to talk chat to anybody. There's loads of people who haven't haven't bothered, or I wouldn't. Yeah, but that's shit that's shit. that's so much worse though. The people that walk past and sort of turn their back or give you a funny look and carry on, you know, just or it's the people who stand there staring at you like. Yeah, have a chat. We're all look. we're all pretty normal at the end of it. Oh, it's, you don't need. Yeah. I don't um, think referring to us as normal is a bit of a stretch. Hey, in vaping terms. Mm. Yeah, in vaping terms, sure. <laughs> but I definitely, I'm missing the fact that, yeah, oh, I like, yeah, just sitting in the evenings, I'd have done it. I'm, yeah, I'm missing the fact that I would literally be prepping for Expo now. In fact, we'd yeah. probably be there because we bought the Thursday hotel, so we'd be there now, like, yeah. just having a bevy, having some food. With it's, mad. it's mad, isn't it? It's mad when you think it's in a hospital right now. Well, no. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, I, so, I suppose to fo follow what, what I said, I guess the few in terms of the future of your channel, then sort of same as mine. You kind of just coast in, see what happens. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut. I'm just gonna coast, mate. I'm not, I have no plans. I have no plans to quit. I have no plans to shut the channel down. I'm just gonna see how the next few weeks or the next couple of months uh, take me. I know I'm. I'm definitely gonna do the aromas V2. I know yeah. that. I'm gonna do that review. There's a couple of other reviews I'm. I'm quite excited about. But um, other than that, I can't really say what's what. I can't say I'm gonna be. You know, a, th a three video a week reviewer because I'm not. I'm yeah. just going to be me. I'm just going to be. I I'm what I am. Reviews will be out when they're out, and if you don't like it, yeah, I I I'm I not. I've not fallen out of love with it or anything like that. But I'm not prepared to put X amount of time into something oh. that I don't believe in, and I think ultimately will bore the people. I think I made I made the mistake of uh, putting vaping first a long time ago. Putting reviewing first uh, ahead of family, kids, and stuff mm. like that, and I, I paid I paid a heavy price for that, and mm. I'm not willing to do that again. Yeah. You know, my, my children come first, my relationship comes first, and this is merely a hobby, and this is like an absolute fucking third, fourth, fifth in life, uh, and that's the way it's going to stay. Whereas before, it used to be number one. Forget everyone else, like I've got to get this review out, I've got to do this, I've got to get these subs. And it's just ridiculous. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it works so much better as a hobby. Yeah. The second it gets too serious, like like you you've designed a tank, I did a tank that gets mm. heavy quick, doesn't it? You know when you oh dude co constant correspondence and even then when even when you've done it all, you think it's brilliant and it's out there, the stream of emails. I'm having wicked trouble or mine didn't come with a whatever or it's fucking crazy. Mine was always bro broken glass, dude. The glass uh, is broken. It's like, oh, fuck. I do. 
I, I, didn't, I didn't make it. I didn't manufacture it. I just designed it. <laughs> I know it's absolutely mental. Uh, so, but that's but that was like a nice little taste for me, of uh, oh. if if you take it too far, too serious, it becomes too much of a almost a job. It, that was and that was a nice taste for me because I realised so much more fun as a hobby than a job, you know. But yeah, when when I was yeah, I mean, I think, I think me and you, have, John, uh, we've we've been in the game pretty much uh, <coughs> the same amount of time, so it's yeah. <laughs> what you know, is there, Brad? I'm going to say, I think it was you that probably saved me from going completely insane when I was modding, because I was in the workshop building till two, three, four o'clock in the morning mm. every single day. I was replying to messages 24-7. And it was John who told me, I'm a fucking idiot. Stop. Pick a time at night. Messages that come in after X yeah. time. Don't fucking reply till the morning. Turn them off. Honestly, Turn my off. phone, if you message me after 11 o'clock, good fucking luck. Yeah, because there's going to come a point where I burn out and you're just an yeah. absolute fucking and, and zombie. That's you, the problem. You have... Phobics were so, so popular. It's, got... it's physically impossible to make them fast enough, isn't yeah. it? Because like, oh. they, they're, got... they're handmade. It's... You do have to have two uh, mindsets, not personas, because I wish I had that. You've you have, you have to have two different mindsets yeah. with stuff. Like that, you just have to, and and sometimes like we have like whatever. This this is just a totally normal 2020 thing where you just say, so if it's if it's date night around our house, then my so Facebook's off, messages mm. off, business is on, but everything else is off. You know. So well, how many how many times have we seen in this industry? I mean, personally, all of us. How many times have we seen in this industry, whether it be a modder, manufacturer, a reviewer, where relationships, the personal relationships, have absolutely broken down? And yeah, uh, the understanding oh, yeah. on the end. How many breakdowns? So, like, how ma- so many times because. Go on, John. I was going to say, how many mental breakdowns have we seen? Yeah, it's like it, 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 because. I, de- I definitely used to put this first and it was m- mentally wrong. Um, you know, I used to neglect my family and stuff like that. And a lot of people, a lot of people do that. I know a lot of people who are reviewers and a lot of people who are uh, deep into the industry do exactly the same thing. And it's wrong. And it's, uh, it's, they pay a heavy price for it. Yeah, absolutely. And that th- th- there's, um, it, it, it's a, it's a difficult thing to manage in yourself oh. and you have to have, so, uh, oh, I'm awful for this, but I've got a very deeply held set of morals that never, ever change. So I don't ever, there's no, never, I don't go one way or the other on anything. Um, I, I get offered things that make, would make me a lot of money, but morally it's not right. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not fucking doing it. Um, because mentally it's pointless. If yeah. I did it, I would constantly be arguing with myself. Question yourself oh, all the time. Oh, I've got to be doing that. Why have I done that? Shit, why have I done that? I, Dude, shot, I, I, could, I, could, have, I could have made thousands from it. I, I literally yeah. could have made thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds from this, but morally, I decided not to because I couldn't live with myself. No. I shot the shop. We did, we'd, uh, I, shot, I, shot, I shot our shop a week before lockdown because it just was morally correct to not carry on. Because there's too many people, there's too many people in, there's too many people touching stuff, there's too many people, and, it, and I just thought, when this COVID thing kicks off, and it was a Sunday night, and uh, I talked to my wife, and I said, that's it, um, from tonight, it's shut, I'm not opening the door tomorrow, I'm locking it down, and, uh, and, uh, and, and, and she said, if that's how you feel, then that's what, that's what we do, and mm. so... <laughs> yeah. We canned it and just said, I want to, because my whole point was I just wanted to protect the online customers so that I wasn't posting COVID to 19 to people. And so I mm. killed it. And uh, I've seen so many weird arguments in the last week, not last week, last month, <clears throat> where people are arguing the toss about economics when we're talking about the health of people. I am sh- shocked that the people haven't got their own set of models where they'll say, Yeah. I need to get back to work because of blah 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 blah, and oh, I've got to nip out because this this dinner doesn't taste right unless it's got cheddar on top. Are you literally out of your fucking mind? What well, the thing doing? the thing is with morals and that it's like lacking in the fucking human race lately. It really fucking is. It's like um, they, they probably look at statistics and go, "Well, there's you know seven billion people on the planet. What's what's a hundred million? It's nothing. Mm. Fuck them." It's, it's that, the, that's the attitude of, of people these days. 
it's such a weird thing and such a such a an odd thing to to, to think that in, in economical terms there's my favorite meme throughout this entire thing is a dinosaur with the comet flying over the head and uh, <laughs> there's just a speech bubble <laughs> and it says the economy <laughs> which i really really like, I really like that we inevitably Keith strayed into coronavirus. Yeah, okay, we're off. No, yeah, no, yeah, that's yeah. fine. That's fine. That's fine. No, I was just, I was I just we talking. Can't, we can't. I don't think we can not talk about it. We're a live no. show during we, the most bizarre time in our yeah. generation. And we, history. and we were just talking about mental strain and the fact that the amount of people who come apart in this industry and the amount of people who come apart in this it's, it's social media is, if you've got, it, 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 if uh, if you've got any mental health problems, you've got to be. Double checking yourself all the time. With oh yeah, I mean, because... I, I I watch social media a lot, and and the, the the amount of people having literal fucking breakdowns from being stuck in indoors, and it's like you wouldn't think it. Like four or five weeks ago, you'd be saying, "All you have to do is stay indoors. That's it. You don't, have, you know, no one's saying you have to go out to a war and shoot people. You just, you're just sitting in watching Netflix." <laughs> but five weeks later, people are fucking going insane and crawling the walls. It's like, fuck. Yeah. I will say, oh. Facebook's got this really great facility, which loads of people don't do. Which is, if your news feed is bad, it is entirely your option. Yeah. Fuck them <laughs> off your news feed. But you can even, if you don't want to, if you're really fragile and you don't want to upset people, you can just hide their shit, can't you? Yeah, you can hide yeah. it, or you can just get rid of them. I, I get rid I've, of them because I don't care. I've gotten rid of so many family members during this lockdown because <laughs> I'm just like, what fucking. I, I know so, I know so many people now who don't use social media at all mm. because they've said I cannot live in a world with these people so I am yeah, taking no. myself off social media because I just I, cannot I struggle around a lot I think uh, yeah I think Gary Dibley in chat there's got a, he's got a cracking point having, having a stronger than half in in this kind of pandemic is absolutely key yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely yeah. Yeah. but you know where you can enjoy each other's company and and not be not feel like it's a it's a burden it's a chore you find I just this is really straight off but it's totally true I I think I think that any couple constantly swaps the strong the stronger one in any one time yeah where you're constantly flipping because yeah. you you just need each other and flip all the, all the time yeah know? if you yeah it is it's a it's a litmus test isn't it for your relationship mm. a bit yeah it's, oh, I've, that has been quite amusing but the one thing that's been because having I've not we've not got any children but so one thing that's been quite funny is the amount of people who, who have suddenly realized their kids are shitheads and they're like well they are a reflection of you <laughs> you are a shithead as well and the other one is and basically, the, the, there's a constant um, uh, sort of thing where they're, 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 they're kind of just kind of going, do you know what? My, my other half is a bit of a prick. <laughs> <laughs> and you think, what are you doing? I mean, that's a really bad thing. I did like I that thing about two days in, though. People doing like memes. Uh, so, lockdown, quite boring. Although I spoke to the wife, she seems quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> She doesn't it's work like, it's like a lot of relationships. She doesn't work so at Woolworths anymore. <laughs> a lot of relationships you're together, but you know you you got to work. You, you're not together yeah. for seven, eight, nine hours of the day, and then you come home, and then it then it's pleasant. You can talk about what you can talk about other things. But when you when you start together for fifteen hours a day, mm. then that's a real foot. For yeah. me, that's a test on, and a strain on your relationship. What like, what the fuck do know, these what, people do when they go on holiday? Common? That's what I want to know. What are you doing? Yeah, but we've Two got weeks. I've got friends who don't go to the pub with their partner. Sunbath. <laughs> <laughs> like they wouldn't, they wouldn't, they wouldn't, they wouldn't dream of just going them and their partner to the pub. Oh really? Yeah. Like they'll go if there's a group thing happening or whatever, or separately with their groups. But they would never just go them too to a pub. Like, and I think that's not a great sign. Yeah, that's alien. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> that's not. not that, there's, some, there's something inherently fucking uh, it's, wrong. It's there. not ideal, that is it? No. You should, it should be the person you want to see the most. Yeah. Some of the best nights that I've had have been me and me and my missus. Yeah. Like, oh, definitely, hundred percent. Definitely. So, oh, there was, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I was going to. I was going to tell a hilarious story, and I thought it's not really fair. To she hasn't really got. She hasn't got the right to reply. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get my wife. Hold on. I'm gonna tell we've got really a bit. We've got a bit melancholy, haven't we? Yeah, no, I, well, I think it's fine. I think it's one of those times that I'm everybody's running around. Oh, let me just say, uh, had no end of problems with the server on just that Nick right now. Uh, so I'll just quickly say it. Uh, got anything new coming? Uh, we have we've got a, a replenishment of crack 
on the way. The the menthol is just mentholing. And then we've got Cactus Punch. And then next, we've got Pistache after that. The Have YouTube, you guys still YouTube got that, um, that custard tart, that Portuguese one? Yeah. No, yeah, Nata, yeah. Dude. Lovely. Have I you had it? I mean, someone like, no, oh, I mean, send me a message tomorrow. I'll sort you out. Dude. The... Um, so let me just explain the so the problem just 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 for the point of politics quickly right so there is a the security certificate that I I own <laughs> you will see the receipt for it show you how good it is <laughs> right there is a firewall that crosses the entire site it is totally and utterly safe it's a security certificate that the server are waiting to add what it does is when your browser contacts the site. It, it, it shows your browser this security certificate effectively and then it comes back. What that does, in essence, is nothing at all. There is a firewall across the entire site. All your data is absolutely safe. But even if it isn't, even if I am the worst person on earth and it's definitely not safe, the transaction happens mm -hmm. on PayPal. It does not happen on the site. It happens on their server, not mine. We're lit, they've got the staff, they've got 90% of the staff at the server aren't at work at the moment. So there's a ticket raised that is currently nine days old. I'm waiting for them to do it. Mm. When, if you, if you the put the... The old SSL. Yeah, the old SSL. Mm. If you put the transaction through... So the SSL is three is, is £5.99 and, and the wall is 400 quid. But anyway, people are worried about this. Anyway. <clears throat> When you press pay now on PayPal, what it'll do is it'll go through, but it will look like your basket is still full and you'll get an error message. Just ignore the error message. It went through. Don't click it again. Don't click. No, don't, don't, don't. I had to do five refunds for a very enthusiastic person today. <laughs> um, it's gone through. I promise it's gone through. Um, we're, we're working on it. It will get done as soon as it gets done. It's literally because the server, um, uh, they've got no staff. But did that, did that person pay five times? Yeah, they did, and I refunded <laughs> them four times. Proceed, 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 proceed. Yeah, but I totally understand that. But do understand that it is the SSL is is a, is is not a it's not a it's not a massive thing. It is literally this certificate that just flicks back at you. Everything is totally and utterly covered, and if it isn't, well, it is because I paid for it. So please be safe. We've got, as I said, we've got cactus punch. We've got crack coming in next. Then it'll be cactus punch, and it'll be um, pistache. This is all within the next ten days, and you're going to get it. Superb, excellent. Uh, anything, anything we need? To, anything else we need to cover before we finish? Uh, oh, we've got a fantastic show next week. Probably. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Who's, who's on next week? Ooh, Baby, with, Baby with Vic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, well, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm I'm out. Uh, I've got to attend the grand opening of my garage door. Um, <laughs> there's a few. Uh, there's a few people that are busy now uh, that we would have had, but they're now busy. Uh, but um, yeah, I don't know. We never know. We never know this far in advance. Uh, but we'll try. We'll try. We'll try our best. Uh, never tell oh, me. I'm, all, I'm always. Uh, I'm always free for you boys. Whatever. Yes, nice one. And some of your co-hosts as well from Saturday. We need on as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Mike, yeah. MF. I think uh, I think Mike would be a cracking guest. I think also um, UK Vapes to Rob would be a yes, wonderful guest. Yeah, yeah, uh, absolutely, definitely. We need we want to we want to spread our wings a bit more. Get a few more people on from yeah, all, all areas. You know, I feel like everywhere's getting really like. Hence why I'm on tonight. Yeah, it's of, one, but, uh, like, but it's it's getting a bit clicky, isn't it? Where you only have there's a little bit of Scotland and a little on. bit of Liverpool that I'm not really <laughs> interested in. <laughs> 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 I'm out. <laughs> yeah, the, the, yeah. Not everyone. It's not an open door <laughs> policy, but uh, but yeah, we definitely want to spread out a little bit more. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Smash that like button. Uh, don't forget to turn your chat to live chat. Um, probably slightly too late now. Uh, late <laughs> but uh, yeah. thanks start, for watching anyway. Thank you very much for watching and smash that like button. And uh, well, sorry about the technical issues. Absolute nightmare. I'll look into those. Yeah, can I just say thank you for the boys for having me on as well. It's been an absolute uh, pleasure. Oh, cheers, mate. Thanks for having me on. Always, always a pleasure. And oh, no, we'll speak soon. And thank you very much for watching. Bye. <laughs>